This is Local 15 News. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Kim Thurman. My co-anchor Greg Peterson has the night off. We are 17 hours away from kickoff. The South Alabama Jags will take on the Bulldogs of Mississippi State tomorrow in front of a sellout crowd. We saw a lot of those fans gathered downtown tonight. Local 15's Derek Rose was there for the big celebration. Derek? Kim, it was shoulder to shoulder tonight in Cathedral Square. The coaches, the team, the marching band, and of course all the fans. For most folks, time could not be slower, especially when there are sounds they can't ignore. It's great. Heard the music. Kids came running. The heartbeat downtown. They seem absolutely entranced by it. It's team spirit running through this city's vein. It'll grow and grow and grow and grow, just like the fan base has. Not just any fans. This is Jag Nation. Oh, I love it. They should have a pet rally every game right down here doing the same thing. It's the first pep rally to mark the Jags' first ever sellout. This is a milestone. Playing a team like Mississippi State, one of, out of one of the top five conferences in America. Sure, the Bulldogs may have longer history, but history means little when you're not at home. We're happy to be in Mobile, and uh, it's a stadium we've never been to before. And I think it's going to be a close game. Not these fans, not this game. Not when there's this much support. I tell people that I had one son when I took this job, but now I have 121 sons, and uh, they're all just like my boys. Let's get ridiculous. And if these players ever need a boost, they need not look far. Just remember this night. There's people out there that support them and is behind them 100%. The night before the biggest game the city's ever seen. Oh, it's a Jag win all the way. And that was a prediction from one Jags fan, a seven-point win for the Jaguars. And the Mississippi State fan you saw in that story predicted an eight-point win for the Bulldogs. So it seems fans on both sides expected to be close, Kim, may be decided by the last team who has the ball. 40,000 fans will get to see it happen in person tomorrow at 3. All right, Derek, an exciting time for tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Well, some 40,000 people are expected to pack into Ladd People Stadium tomorrow. But sad news for Bulldog fans, the Sunbelt Conference does not have the fever for any cowbells. Well, the popular noise maker for the team will not be allowed at the game following conference guidelines. Although the game is sold out, you can still keep up with the action from your phone or tablet using hashtag JagNation. You can catch the game live on ESPN News, get live updates on the Jags website and on iHeartRadio. And of course, we're going to have all the highlights tomorrow night on Local 15 News.